Hello everybody, um, I am back and I am on my way to New York right now. I'm going to Buffalo to visit my grandma for a day and then I'm going to go to Word of Life and hang out for a little bit and I'm going to go to New York City and do whatever I want because actually I'm hoping to go to um, uh, Obscura, which is a like odd item antique shop. Like they've had shrunken heads and stuff there before. So I've always wanted to go there, I thought it'd be cool. So I'm going to see if I can find that place. And uh, coincidentally, right now, it is the first snow of the year. I don't know if you can see it. It's not very heavy, but it is. So I thought that was pretty cool. But I will keep you guys updated and uh, hopefully podcast the whole thing. So I'll see you later. That was quick. About uh, 20 minutes later, this is what it looks like. I'm sliding on the road, so I'm going super slow. Yeah. Not even into Pennsylvania yet, man. This is crazy. So this is where I am right now. I am stuck in traffic, sitting on the highway on I-90, or getting to I-90, something like that, in the snow. I think somebody might have slid off the road or something. So yeah, and this is only like 20 minutes, or not sorry, not 20 minutes, about close to between 45 minutes and an hour away from my apartment. So that was a pretty drastic change in weather. I'm pretty surprised. All right, so this is the deal. I'm still stuck in traffic. It's uh, pretty much dead here on I-90. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get off at this exit right here. I don't know if you can see it because the wipers are blurring everything. But I don't remember whether or not I locked my apartment. So since I'm going to be gone for five days and I'm only an hour away, I think I should go back and just double check because I don't remember doing it. And I, I know I took my second set of keys to check my mailbox and I was going to go put them back. But then I decided to take them and I don't know, I was in a hurry. So I got to go back and check. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here. A lot of snow still getting off right here, and uh, traffic is dead. I don't know why exactly. I think I passed that guy in the red Chevy about three times. So, this is on my way back. It's snowing pretty hard now, um, it's kind of slippery. Other than that, not really much to report. So the snow is awesome, and I love it, even though I'm driving in it. But the uh, traffic, as you can see, is still stopped over there on uh, 90 North or West or whatever. I was driving on West, I think, or East, sorry. I don't know, well, I don't know what's going on. 
But anyway, uh, it's still backed up right now. But it's still backed up right now. So where I was from where I was before to here has been uh, between five and ten miles. So that's how far the traffic has almost stopped. It stopped in a lot of places, if not driving like ten miles an hour, maybe. So I'm trying to. I'm wondering if maybe I just need to leave tomorrow instead. I don't know. We'll see. Well, this is what I'm doing right now. I finally uh, got back to my apartment. The door was locked, and it was fine. I could have just kept going, but it was it was good that I went back because I thought I did not lock it. Um, right now, I'm driving in the dark, as you can see. You can't see all of it, but there's a lot of snow coming at me. Huge flakes. It's a little bit there in the, in the lights. Um, you can see some of it back there, too. I uh, won't take as much video at night just because, as you can tell, this is not super interesting. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's not really hailing, but sort of a wet uh, snow coming down. It's like little sugar droplets or something, kind of like that. even a couple hours away from uh, Fairlawn. I think I've actually stopped at this gas station before. I kind of recognize it. Um, getting a little bit of gas and I'm taking a detour so I don't have to go drive on 90 anymore because the guy in there told me it was it was way it's way back up. It's, it's pathetic so uh, I'm not even trying that but ETA right now is about one between one and two in the morning so so I'll get there. So, I just slid off the road. The whole front end of the car is bashed in. And I'm waiting for the police to show up because it's like an accident and I guess you have, you have to report it before anything else happens. So, yep, I'm sitting in the dark, waiting, and hopefully they'll be here soon. So, that's how that trip ended up. So, I am on the side of the road, uh, the police are behind me, as you can see, um, he's still filing out his report or whatever about the accident, but I'm waiting for a tow truck to come and then I'm going to figure out where I'm staying tonight, and then hopefully I'll make it to Nana's, at least. Alright, it is 3.49 a.m. and I'm finally in my uh, hotel room. <clears throat> um, that's what ended up happening. 
So hotel was the best way to go. Um, Nana is picking me up in the morning. And then I'm going to figure out how much it costs to fix the car and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that might be the end of the trip. It might not be. If I can get it, um, if I can get it repaired, then maybe I'll continue. But I don't know. We'll see.